What's up? Today was a chest, shoulders, tricep day, my push day. But what you're actually gonna see is you're just gonna see the chest uh, workout. Nothing was exciting on the delts. It was pretty much a front raise, a side raise. Um, the triceps, I'm leaving out of this video because what I'm going to do is compile like an arm video, an arm workout, which is just gonna be part of my pull day and then part of the push day. So you can get an idea, because I know a lot of people like to have arm days in particular, so you can use these exercises. Um, I did three sets of everything. I did three sets of an incline press, a flat uh, bench, and a cable fly, more of a decline. And I do this twice a week. Now keep in mind, I also do shoulders today and triceps um, together twice a week. But shoulder, I don't really do any pressing ever. And um, every once in a while, maybe I'll do some press, but it all depends on my, really what, I, what my goal is. Um, all my real power pressing happens in my uh, incline bench. So check it out, enjoy it, and that'll be it. All right, guys, here we go. Now, keep in mind, I'm dieting, so I'm actually trying to cut up. It's been about... Recording, during this recording of the video, is probably 16 days in, a pretty strict diet. Um, I'm getting stronger into my diet, which is... Honestly, it happens all the time, so I'm not really surprised. I'm up to... 250 pounds for incline bench press, sets of eight. Uh, I started the diet at 225, uh, mainly because I switch exercises around a little bit, uh, trying to feel what would be the best for me during my cut. There's certain exercises that I just feel better doing while I'm dieting, if it makes any sense. They don't really put a lot of strain on my body, a lot of stress. I like doing some hardcore shit sometimes, so the volume goes down a little bit, but uh, the frequency's up, everything's twice a week, and I just try to progress. Really simple, I love it, and everything's been going smooth. I'm getting leaner, looking a little bigger, and um, this right here is my second set of incline. I just wouldn't have a spot because the first one felt a little funky starting to see those striations in my forearms if you can check it out right there starting to get lines everywhere which is awesome it's crazy to see your body change it like blows my mind uh when you start to like just see your body transform you get that feeling of like just like i mean i don't want to say pride but you're just like you're happy with what you're accomplishing so like i said that was set two, here comes set three. I only do three sets of incline. Uh, I might move it up to four sets. It really depends on how I feel, but I'm making great progress. I basically do nine sets of chest total, but that's twice a week, so was that 18 sets a week? Versus like a typical broham split of once a week, maybe doing you know 15 sets. I'm actually getting more work in, and I'm fresher every workout than you would at the end of a workout doing all your extra sets you're usually tired so here's set three um and nothing crazy but these are my go-to three exercises that i absolutely love to do there's not a decline bench press at this gym but i used to really enjoy that as my first lift and then i would switch to a dumbbell incline you're gonna see me do a flat dumbbell press after this um instead of a decline press or anything like that. I mean, still for me, ideally, I like barbell decline and then dumbbell incline. And then I like to do a cable fly. I like it better than machine flies. I like it better than dumbbell flies. There's constant tension. But what I do is I end up doing it so it's kind of underneath me, hitting the lower pec. I mean, 
technically there is no lower pec, but it kind of simulates a little bit of a decline. But here I am rambling and telling you everything before we even get to it. So here we go. Here's the flat bench. I'm trying to picture what dumbbells I want to use. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I hit the 150s after a heavy incline one day. But that heavy incline for me was nowhere near the 250 that hit today. Um, so I decided to go down and try the 120s. But I still didn't have enough rest in between my incline and my first set of dumbbell presses. So I don't think I got many. I think I got six. So I was a little fatigued. I ended up dropping back to doing the 110s. And I ended up getting like, I don't know, sets of like 10 or 12 with the 110s. Which just shows I had a little more energy. Because, I mean, it's only 10 pounds difference per dumbbell. And I'm getting a lot more reps on that. So I was definitely fatigued on this. Important thing is to be set up properly. I've seen a video recently of a fitness guy who tore his pec trying the 150s, and a big issue was that with that is a lot of you guys. I mean, let's be real. There's a lot of bro hams out there. I was a bro ham, and you're trying to do what's you know best there. I mean, technically, if you come down like a T with your arms. I mean, technically, it is going to stimulate your, your pecs a little bit better. It is. Um, but it's also going to put serious strain on your pecs and not in a good way. I keep my elbows a little bit tucked in, not power lifter tucked in, not bodybuilder out like a T, but somewhere in the middle. But the difference is, is when I press upward, I get into a T, that T shape. But when I come down in that vulnerable stretch position, I protect my pec. I don't want to overstretch it and cause it a rip. Let's see if I can show you it on this one. I get the setup, set two. You know, I'm not an anatomy expert, but I'm retracting something here. I just like to pretend like I'm trying to hold a piece of paper in between my traps at first. But here we go. So elbows in, and then I come more of a T right there. Elbows kind of in, more of a T, and that's pretty much how I do it. Um, it's not a full T, obviously, but it's good you might be like bro your head needs to be hitting the bench now I've had some shoulder issues from doing flat bench uh, and every time I hurt my chest it's usually fat flat brain but what the fuck am I I can't even speak right now I'm so into this video but uh every time I've hurt my pecs it's been on a flat barbell bench and for whatever the reason when I bring my head up a little bit it just it gives me that little bit of relief. Um, the key is to do everything properly and right. When you're fresh to lifting, you need to keep in mind, I've been lifting 15 years. When you're fresh to working out, you can get away with a lot of shit. Your muscles, your joints, your ligaments, everything's fucking fresh. You got fresh body parts. See, I go up a little bit. Elbows down. You got fresh body parts. So you can get away with this stuff. But as you lift for so long, you start to mess your shit up if you don't have proper form so have the proper form in the beginning and you'll never mess yourself up the difference is you could be doing the wrong form whatever getting away with it feeling great but you're doing damage you're also learning bad habits and eventually when you get stronger you're going to end up messing something up because your form's off anyways that was set three i'm really enjoying this workout if you guys also have any exercises that you absolutely love for chest, put them in the comments because I would love to check them out and, and try them out. And I do extensive studying on EMG readings and I don't know if it necessarily really means you're getting better work, but um, I take that into consideration and try things out and see how they feel. Now you'll see here, you'll be like, oh man, look, like I have a video from 2012. Everyone's like, yo bro, look at your gut. But the difference is this, look, look, at it's there and then it's gone. It's there and then it's gone. It's because I breathe with my diaphragm. I, I'm a belly breather, which gives me deep, powerful breaths for contraction. In, out. You see what I mean? I'm not doing, I'm not a chest breather. I'm a diaphragm breather, which gives me that power. Um, I'm starting to get a little sweat in here. But this is usually my last... Uh, exercise for my push day and um, 
as you see, it's more of a decline fly. I mean, you'd be like, yeah, you're standing upright, but look where my hands are going. It's more of a decline movement. So I hit the upper. I mean, th this isn't real anatomy talk, but I hit the upper incline, medial, everything, you know, flat, and then the decline here with the flies. Uh, I'm hitting this twice a week, keep in mind. So maybe you annihilate chest and do a thousand things. But my question to you is, how much effort are you putting into those last exercises? You see, when I split things up into twice a week, I got max effort. You can hold max effort for like maybe a couple exercises, but then you start to fade off. So splitting it up, not only does it cause better protein synthesis in the muscle, but it also allows you to actually really do more work because you're not as tired when you have a couple days to recover. I've been loving this split. I've loved it for so long. My calves are actually starting to come around. You can see them there. Uh, I've been doing some experimenting with them. Uh, they're not as big as my arms, or so it's really hard to show them off because they are a um, not one of my genetic strong points. But these are my go-to three. I also did shoulders and triceps, like I said in the beginning of the video. And I will show those in another day. But try these three out twice a week. And let me know what you think. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Later, dudes.